Regenerative medicine is the science of making things. If we lost a finger, hopefully we might be able to create a second finger and reuse it. If your kidney is failing, we would be hopefully in the future able to create a spare kidney or another kidney for you that could be implanted. As we're looking at regenerative medicine and we're looking at trying to create uh, items that are important, the basis of regenerative medicine is cells. The early regenerative medicine therapies use cells and they're injected into the body with the hope that these new progenitor components will quickly manifest themselves to repair whatever malady it is that you have. 3D printing is one of the few manufacturing processes that is unlimited in terms of the geometry that it can create. The organs and the tissue that you want to look at for starting any of these processes are the simplest of all of these organs. Your ear in terms of using an ear is again early entry into regenerative medicine. The structure of your ear really has no function other than the geometry of the ear. So it is something that creates aesthetic value to us. The way one obtains that image is using standard techniques in medicine, meaning we would begin by using a CT scan or an MRI. So you take a slice of the MRI or CT, you put it against the next one and the next one and the next one, and you end up with a three-dimensional structure that three-dimensional structure can be turned into a three-dimensional solid model, and that three-dimensional solid model can be used to create other components, meaning that we can manufacture it. We will be creating and using regenerative components, cell therapies. Those are right around the corner, and in fact, we are using some cell therapies right now. But the more complex the organ, the longer the window is until we're going to be able to come up with a realization for it. So my guess for a complex organ like a heart would probably be in 25 years, uh, maybe a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit longer than that.